I'm Holly Silva and I've been a craft expert for about 15 years now. Today I'm going to show you how to do a lasso craft. Now today we are going to make uh, as an homage to the Western lifestyle and all of that wonderful cool stuff that happened back in the Wild West, uh, we're going to make picture frames. You can make anything you want today. I'm going to show you how to make picture frames. Uh, most pictures are what, like four by six, the you know basic size. So we're just going to do that. Uh, we're going to model after that. What I have here, this is a bamboo skewer. You can use popsicle sticks. I like these because I found them at the 99 cent store. I think they were only 79 cents. Great place if you want to craft, if you like to craft. You don't have to go and buy a whole bunch of expensive things. Just buy a lot of little basic things. So what I did was, because we're going to do something really cool with it, if it's a four by six, I'm going to add an extra inch to each stick. Uh, so instead of four inches, I'm going to make the sides five and the top, instead of six, I'm going to make it seven. So what I did was I just snapped them in half. It's really simple to snap them. Uh, it's actually easier to snap them than to, than to actually cut them, like so. And if you have that rod, it doesn't matter because that's not the one you're using. It just smooth it over, just like that. If, you're, if it's a craft for kids, you're probably going to want to have the adult do it if you're not already the adult yourself. All right, so just measure out on your construction paper, uh, just, I don't know, like an inch or something. Nothing too crazy. Actually, I like, I like an inch. An inch is good. So we'll do that. And you can make it, you know, any, you can do, you can do zigzags if you want. You can do, uh, this is a four and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So you can just cut strips and then measure them down. Cut four strips. Okay, so uh, cut it about four inches there, four inches about there, okay, six inches, we're going to do, now you're going to stick with the, with the four and six inches, that's fine. You'll see why it works when it does. Okay, we're doing it very basically today, or I'm doing it very basically today, uh, just for the sake of time. Again, you can take as long as you want because crafting is soothing. It shouldn't be speedy unless you're teaching a craft, craft, uh, craft story. Okay. Um, now what you do is stick this uh, either edge. I like to use double stick tape to your, your stick there. Make sure it's straight because if it's not straight, you're gonna have a crooked you're gonna have a crooked album. And there at the end. Okay. All right. And then the other side here. Keep your keep your stick steady. Just like with any other sport, you know? Keep it steady, all right. That's how my grandpa would have said it. So we're gonna stick our double stick to the back of our side piece. Not the top or the bottom, but the side, depending on whichever angle you work from. And stick her there. All right, and the other side. You don't have to use big pieces. You can just use little pieces, just enough to tack it on. Because double stick tape is one of the most remarkable crafting materials I have ever used. And it's very inexpensive, and you don't have to wait for it to dry like you do glue. All right. Now, what we're going to do is make a lasso. So you grab your craft wire, just a little piece, I don't know, maybe about six inches long depending on you know how you want it to look, but I'll show you how it looks first. And just make a little loop and wrap your loop around the other, like so, because this is a lasso, so you wanna make it look like a lasso. Chances are, if you know, uh, if you're making this like I am, you know what a lasso looks like, so I don't have to tell you that. 
But what we're going to do is, this is, it's not all that fancy, so we're gonna make it a little pretty. Now, you can wrap yarn around it, you can wrap tissue paper around it, which is what I'm going to do. Just grab a little strip and wrap it around. That way it's, that way it looks like a lasso. Because lassos are not made out of wire. For those of you that haven't seen a lasso and want to make a lasso. Now you just flip it around here like so. And just wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap. All right, I'm gonna do this a little quick for you. A little bit quicker. Oh, see, look, my lasso opened up. That's how you know it's really working. All right, and flip it through, flip it through, flip it around. All right, now just wrap, wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap. Okay, there we go. Now, because I'm using tissue paper and wire, I like to just stab the end of the tissue paper. That way it's safe. Because this is, this is kind of, I mean, it doesn't have to be a child craft. You know, you can make it a lot nicer. But if kids are doing it, you want it to be safe. You don't want anybody to get stuck with it. So here's your lasso. And what we're going to do is grab our double stick tape. A nice size piece here. Stick it to the underside of the lasso. And pop it up there on the corner. And there it is, your lasso craft. I had a great time making it. I hope you do too. Use any colors you'd like. Use any materials you'd like. That's just the principle of it. Use your imagination. If you have any questions on this or anything else, please let us know and we would love to help you out. See you next time. Oh,